today you get a video on batteries because like any good father the second it's quiet in the house we go crazy we love to hear that stuff in the background what actually inspired me to change my batteries over in the house years ago was uh, my kids had a ton of toys and like anything these days it seems to take between 10 15 1 million batteries so we were going actually through one of those big Costco packs uh, of batteries every month and we we're chucking these batteries away so I did a little bit of research online at the time and I uh, ended up buying uh, I think it was an energizer actually it was an energizer uh, battery charger with a four pack of batteries and they performed horribly for me and this uh, kind of fell right in line with what happened as a kid when we got our big shiny new toys at Christmas and we got our big fancy NICAD charger with batteries that well you take them out of the charger you could count to 10 and they're dead <laughs> so this was my experience with rechargeables the good news is technology has come a long way and there's actually great stuff out there so there's three batteries I'm gonna go through here for you uh, first up we got the Tenergies, and these have been okay for me. They're they're not great, uh, but they're decent. All the batteries that you're gonna see here, I've been using for a period of about seven years. So the Tenergies, they last pretty good uh, when they're charged in a decent charger, and we'll touch more on that in a second here. But I have thrown away uh, probably about four or five of them. Now, considering we use this in absolutely everything that we've got, I've got them in my remotes, uh, anywhere throughout the house, they're in everything. Anything that uses batteries gets rechargeables. Shortly after that, I switched over to uh, Eneloops, and uh, Eneloops, they're made by Panasonic, and uh, they're quite good. I have yet to throw a single one of them away, so they perform very, very well. And again, a period of seven years, or six and a half maybe, it was shortly after I bought the Tenergies that I started experimenting. After I uh, fell in love with the Eneloops because of their performance levels, I noticed there was also another premium version, the Eneloop Pro. Now these things go even further in performance. The difference between the Eneloop and the Eneloop Pro the Enloop Pro performs better in colder temps, whereas the uh, Enloop still great, but in cold temps, uh, they die off a little sooner. If you have an application where you really care about the battery life, Enloop Pro. If you want just your average run-of-the-mill battery for around the house, Enloops are great. I have also tried the Amazon, and until recently when they switched over to their manufacturing in China, I would say these are awesome batteries, but since they swapped, I'd steer away from them. I'd feel comfortable recommending only the two as of the time of this video, which is the Enloop and the Enloop Pro. Although, after watching some uh, different videos on batteries, I have yet to try the IKEA or the uh, latest Duracell, which actually look like they might be pretty, pretty awesome as well. So let me know if you guys have tried these uh, batteries. Leave something in the comments below. I'd be curious to know for myself. As far as the charger goes, uh, my personal recommendation is the Nightcore D4. This is the third charger that I've gone on. And the great part about this charger is it just charges anything. Uh, 18650 batteries, the 26650, and I mean, here's the list. But a uh, bunch of different chemistries here, lithium ion, lithium phosphate, does the nickel metal and the nickel uh, cadmium batteries as well. So it's pretty awesome. And there's no nothing fancy you need to do with it other than chuck your battery inside this thing and leave it plugged in 24-7. Once it's done charging, it's done charging. You can mix chemistries, that's all good. There's only one consideration you do have to make with this charger, and that's if you're charging one AAA at a time. There is a low charge mode. Alternatively, you can just, if you're charging a single AAA at a time, you can just chuck multiple batteries in there and that's fine too but to activate put your battery in and there's a button on the side you hold that and you can see you can
can see that low lights up here on the side and that's indicating to you that the milliamps has dropped down for the charging of that battery. If you like what you see here, thumbs it up. If you don't like what you see, thumbs that up anyway, because <laughs> it would be awesome for me. <laughs> Leave a comment, subscribe, tell your mother. Your mother wants batteries, I'm sure of it.